Bienvenue à tous dans cette Welcome to the second part of Business Africa. Cameroon is rich in natural resources, including oil, gas, agriculture, production and processing, among others. The country whose northwest and southwest regions remain shaken by insecurity invites partners to come invest in promising and income-generating areas such as crude oil, which remains one of the sectors still spared by the crisis. Micah DB and Cédric Seosolo with details. Cameroon's economy remains heavily affected by the conflicts rocking the English-speaking northwest and southwest regions of the country, two regions which contributed 16.3% of gross domestic products in 2015. The insecurity led to the loss of half a percentage point of growth in Cameroon in 2017 and according to the African Development Bank, could have a significant impact on the country's budget forecasts for the next few years. Nearly five years of unrest have led to reduced economic growth, stalled several projects and displaced more than 500,000 people, according to the latest United Nations figures. Exports from the southwest region fell by more than 20 percent between 2015 and 2017, while imports from Nigeria fell by 40.5 percent over the same period, according to recent estimates from local authorities. To restart growth in the affected regions, Yaoundé has developed an emergency plan for the development of the northern part, restructuring of affected public companies and the introduction of tax and customs incentives for private companies to help cushion losses. The government has been encouraging investors to get involved in key sectors such as oil mining. We discussed this with Ekoko Mukete, Vice President of the Cameroon Chamber of Commerce. Elvis Bo asked about the institution's efforts to encourage the business climate in Cameroon. Yes, um, unfortunately we, we are having some issues, mostly in the southwest and northwest regions of Cameroon, the Anglophone territories, um, challenging uh, for the businesses there. Yeah, we, we um, of course, we, we try to take up uh, issues, local issues for private businesses. Uh, we act like a, a focal point institution for the private sector, the enterprise sector. So we dialogue with government to make sure, you know, po right policies are in place for businesses. And we also go out marketing, doing road shows, in a sense, for uh, uh, for Cameroon to, to invite uh, foreign investment. And so, so it's, it's quite widespread. We continue business as usual, really. He also reviewed the income generating sectors to which investors are directed. Um, I would say agriculture. I, you know, I push for agricultural processing. The, you know, the lands are fertile. Um, you know, the, you get access to the entire sub-regional market. Uh, we have the widest border with Nigeria, in a, in a sense. But uh, agri-industry is an area where you know it is the, the future, in a sense. You got to feed people, and uh, people are more interested in uh, more and more instead of synthetic uh, things that they want, you know, naturally grown products. There's all sorts of uh, potential crops and cash crops and which basically could, could provide a, you know, a, a great opportunity for an investor. For those looking for energy, you know, being a country aiming to, to, to industrialize in a sense, would, you know, the need for energy is immense and there's also a potential to invest in that area. Uh, air travel, um, uh, you know, uh, road transportation, um, haulage businesses, transportation, you know, trucking across, you'll understand the Cameroon port does serve Central Africa, does serve also the sub-region, the, the, you know, the, the land, uh, you know, land bound countries of Chad and so on. According to the Vice President of the Chamber of Commerce, Cameroon continues to play a key role in trade, commerce and intra-African trade, given its many advantages. Cameroon is still the largest economy in the sub-region. It does. If it does sneeze, everyone else catches a cold in Central Africa. That's a fact. It's just what it is, and um, it could do better. And we we wish it it would do better. We think it will eventually do better. Um, 
But as it is now, it, it is still, the, you know, the, the champion in a sense, in terms of its share size. You could say, uh, because of all the natural endowments, it already does have, you know, mineral potential, wood exploitation and, and so on. And all those things, they're there, they're God-given, so they're there. Uh, they, there's a, a clear willingness to listen to the investor, there's a clear willingness to um, a little to talk about an a la carte deal in a, in a sense. What do you need? What do you want to do that investment? They are prepared to listen. And uh, thirdly, I, I think really the institutions, you know, uh, are trying very hard to be more investment friendly. This is the end of today's edition of Business Africa. Thanks for watching. We also invite you to follow us on social media at Africa News and Africa News FR. Enjoy the rest of your viewing and goodbye.